Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. This time we're looking at Muff Tack and Cabe, or Kabe, I don't know how it's pronounced, Cabe. I've just always called him Cabe, or her Cabe. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl, I can't remember. It's cool. <laughs> this will be my last episode for the year. I'm going to take next week off of Power of the Force Fridays. If I decide to put a video out, I might just change my mind and make a video anyway. But for now, my intention is to just take a break um, from making Power of the Force Friday videos. We'll be back next year for hopefully another 52 awesome episodes. Because I've still got plenty of figures to go through. But yeah, I wanted to pick these two out of the cantina and just take a look. These were in a two-pack in the Power of the Force line. They came out really, really nicely. Still hold up for me personally. You know, the articulation's pretty dated, but the sculpt is good. Muff Tack was actually re-released, technically, as part of the Gendi Tartakovsky Clone Wars line, in which he was given a Jedi robe, a lightsaber, and some big shoes. And yeah, big shoes indeed, because they're big shoes to fill. And that actually turned out pretty good. I can't remember the name of the Jedi um, that he was portraying, but uh, yeah, it wasn't Muff Tack as a Jedi. It was another Tells, which is what the species is. Did see another one of these Tells characters um, in the Clone Wars. Slightly more sort of slender and, and animated looking, but still awesome nonetheless. Just love those eyes and the face, the little little sucker mouth there. Such a cool looking alien. Really love him and really he's just a just a hairy man with a with a weird head. <laughs> still such a good figure. I love it a lot. So looking at Cape. Kabe, Cape, little Chadra fan mouse dude you see him slash her walking up to the bar asking for a drink it looks like a little bat basically a little bat head and these species turn up everywhere in the uh, current iteration of the expanded universe I feel like every second book has a mention of a chapter fan and they just get a list of aliens and say look here's a list of aliens you can use the name of and uh, yeah <laughs> Chadra fan sounds really, really interesting. So yeah, little feet. It's got the blue tack on it there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it on there. Cool little bit of weathering on the uh, on the outfit there. The cracks in the sleeve. Nicely sculpted little fella. And it's uh, this kind of these kind of figures that are just make awesome world building for for the three and three quarter inch line. I wish we saw more of it these days. Um, unfortunately, we don't get it as much I would love to like just little deluxe packs like this that came out a couple of figures a couple of random aliens they don't have to be action orientated they don't need gimmicks they just need to be cool 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 sculpts you know make them 5 poa I don't care and just it's all about the world building I think that's very very important for the three and three quarter inch line going forward and, uh, you know, there's an absolute plethora of characters out there now, given that we have, you know, six other movies and a bunch of TV shows. Five other movies and a bunch of TV shows now. So, so much material to draw on and fill out fill out the worlds of action figures and there's so much potential. So, hopefully, 2022 is a good year for growth for three and three quarter inch action figures. And there's always so much to go back and collect from the past, you know, there's still so many figures that I haven't picked up over the years that I can go back and find from, you know, a lot of great years of great figures. So looking forward to seeing what 2022 brings. Um, looking forward to sharing more Power of the Force figures, that's for sure. Got a bunch of awesome figures to get through. I actually need to maybe formulate a bit of a plan, bit of a list. Um, and yeah, any requests, please check out my playlist, see what I've already done. If there's any particular Power of the Force 2 figures you'd love to see, I would love to review those and take a quick look at those figures as well for you. Um, I've done that a couple of times this year, it's been an honor. Love being able to pick out the figures that people want to see and do little videos on them as well, so that's good. Um, but yeah, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this sort of video series that I sort of come up with earlier in the year. Um, it's been a few weeks where I sort of missed out, but um, I'm definitely hoping to 
make it a definite weekly thing next year so definitely stay tuned I appreciate it very very much so thank you for watching guys appreciate you hanging out for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays it's been fun I love going back and looking at these older figures from my childhood super important super nostalgic which is you know very important to me so thank you all again and we'll see you next time may the force be with you always